like, yeah, I love cars. I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was like extremely loud for no reason. Um, so I, you know, I don't know if it's because I'm older or I've just been at a lot of jobs and I've experienced life a bit earlier than most people, but I just kind of know how to set boundaries now and I think this man only hires young women that are not experienced because he can take advantage of them and I think he thought he could do that with me but um, he can't so honestly I think that's why they let me go because he realized like he can't get away with things that he let that like I'm gonna wait with it wasn't working that out with me I'll give you guys like a few examples so um, I first my second day he, I, I was training to be the server and uh, I have a lot of serving experience I'm 24 years old I hate saying that I'm 24 so I have like you know I've been serving since I was uh, 18 years old so it's just like nothing new for me
so I texted him um, right when he uploaded the schedule. I said hi. Um, I know I'm very, very, very respectful, but I just you're not gonna play me. You know what I mean? And uh, this kind of confirmed that he was trying to see what he could get away with. I said hi. Is there like a reason why I'm I'm hosting? You know? And um, I don't know if you guys have ever worked in a restaurant, but there's designated host host for that. Like you know, if I'm hide on as a server, a server is not gonna be hosting. You know what I mean? It's kind of just common sense, but so he had me expoing, hosting, and serving only once a day, one once a week. That's not okay. So um, I said hi, like I just want to know why I'm hosting, and he was like, oh, it was a mistake. I'm so sorry. I'll fix that for you right now. And uh, I was playing Fortnite, so I didn't respond. And then five minutes later, he said, so do you want me to take you off of hosting? I said, yes, please. Like, I just want to serve, which was what I was hired to do. And then he took me off. But, you know, like, he, it wasn't a mistake that he put me on as hosting. He wants to see what he can do he can get away with. So, now it's um, my first day on, on the floor by myself. No more training. And um, uh, my trainers didn't tell me that on the ticket on the receipt when you give it to a customer, there's something called a surcharge, which is tax on top of being taxed already. Which now I know is for inflation, but no one told me that. So this table that I had in particular was not happy with um, the way that the food came out. And I told them everything. I was like, to be honest, I'm very sorry. Like, I'm still new. Like, I will do what I can to accommodate for you guys. Like, why they were mad was out of my control. I couldn't control that. So, I had my manager go talk to them because it's my first day without training, you know? So, like, I want to make sure they had a great experience and they'll come back. And they were very happy with me. They were like, thank you so much. You were amazing. Like, your service was amazing. Saying. It's just, it wasn't you, it was the kitchen. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. So, um, you know, after that happened, they get their bill. And they're like, hey, why is there a surcharge on here? And I didn't even know what that was. So I was like, oh, um, I'll be right back. And I will go ask the manager that right now. And then I asked the GM, the general manager, I said, hey, like, what is a surcharge? He got up from the office, walked across the room and slammed his finger on the paper on the wall that explained what the surcharge was. Guys, I felt so disrespectful. Disrespect, it just explained to me what it is. You didn't have to do all that. Especially when I wasn't even taught that. Like, trained that. So I got so mad. I was like, okay, like, honestly, um, I think it would sound better coming from your mouth. So, um, if you could just go talk to them instead. Yeah, so, instead of just explaining it to me, I made him go talk to that table anyway. Who had the last laugh? I did. That same night, it was my, you know, it's my first night training. I mean, my first night out of training. He had me closing. That's not normal. Like, if you're new to a restaurant, you should not be closing by yourself for your first day, your first shift. I wasn't supposed to be closing. Um, the girl that came in after me left before me, and that was not supposed to happen. So I asked him, um, I said, hi, like, I just wanted to know, like, if, does it matter what order you come in for work? Like, it's just kind of like anyone closes and no one told me I was closing. The girl did not say, hey, would you mind closing for me? She just left. And, um, after that happened, um, he said, oh my gosh, like, he was like, no, if you're last in, you're last out. And I said, I was not last in. I was second to the last. The girl that left just now was supposed to be closing. And he was like, oh my gosh, I, I'm so sorry. I did not know. You made the schedule. You checked her out to go home. So how did you not know? The man didn't even, if you asked him what color was the sky, he would be like, oh, scratching his freaking bald head. Like, I don't know. Like, he didn't know nothing ever. <laughs> What sauce goes in the pork goyoza? And he said, I don't know. You're the general manager. I do not know. After that, after my first night, after I closed, um, he didn't ask me, like, oh, how was your first shift? 
how did you like it? Was everything okay? Like, he didn't ask me nothing, guys. Like, he literally was so awkward and quiet with me. Like, so, I don't know. And so, um, the next day I went in to go eat sushi because I was like, I get 50% off. I'm gonna eat that sushi. Well, I don't eat sushi. I just only eat one roll, but 50% off, you know what I mean? So, I went gonna happen. I'm like, this man does not like me. And it's because I set boundaries. You're not going to get away with something. Like, you know what I mean? Like, maybe it's me. Maybe I'm the problem. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have just let it slide. But I've let so much things slide in my life with managers, with bosses, with friends, with significant others that I'm not letting them happen again. I'm gonna nip it in the bud the first time it happens because I'm just not what type of person to let things slide anymore. It's truly why he hires all young girls because they don't know no better. They're gonna know and then they're not gonna put up with it hopefully one day, but yeah, that's that story. I am looking for another job, obviously. And um, I started my labs, you know. Uh, the last time I told you guys about the school, I was starting my general ed classes and uh, now I'm in going to lab scanning and it's very hard. <laughs> Why does it look so frizzy? You know, but just like everything, you can like learn, you know, learn from it. And um, I can kind of just go study a lot. So if you guys don't mind, I will be. I'm like looking only at there because I need to see what I'm doing with my hair. And um, I will be having a lot of like study with me. So that's okay with you guys. Please let me down. Let me know. Speaking of like this channel and posting things, I'm honestly very sorry. I feel like I've kind of been neglecting this channel because of just how hard it's been. Like me getting fired places, me looking for jobs, me training, me going to school, and it's just been kind of a lot. And it's not an excuse. Like I just need to grind it out, get up early, if you know what I mean. But has been a little hectic in my life to be honest. Um, I've also started therapy and uh, I've had a therapist before. I've had four other therapists and like through my whole life like a lot when I was younger not by choice like do you see like child protective services like ordered like it was from there um, and so now that you know I'm an adult and I, and I made the choice for therapy it was like really nice and Although it's still pretty new with everything, um, this is gonna get a little personal, but I was diagnosed with severe depression disorder and anxiety disorder, and, um, when I heard of that, I was a little relieved to know that it's not, like, me, it's my brain, <laughs> like, does that make sense? I've watched my video last year. I don't know why I never deleted it. I think I didn't want to delete it because I wanted to, like, maybe it would help someone. But last year, when a lot of, like, things were happening, um, you guys will see it. Um, if you guys look down farther enough, I was at a really low point, and it did not get any better after that. I mean, I mean yeah, it did, but then, like, two months later, something really bad happened, and maybe next year, maybe I'll be okay, like, able to talk about it with you guys. Not now, though. I have to, like, in therapy about it, so. <laughs> um, but, uh, that kind of, like, that depression kind of, like, never went away, and it would get came and goes, like, some days, like, some weeks I'll be like, oh, I feel on top of the world, and then other weeks I'm just like, I don't want 
to be here anymore uh, and I thought that was like normal like I thought everyone thought those thoughts but I'm very happy that I'm in therapy now let me just do this part because it's like really moving so I'm going on this week to this week to go look for jobs so please wish me luck but to be honest like that saying move in silence is so real because I feel like ever since I started the same things that are happening before they happen they end up not happening but I just get so excited oh, look at that closet that's bad but you get what I mean like I just get so excited to tell people Oh. <sighs> 
Leave down. 